What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel for this month. So it's December now, so we're in Christmas mode here. And so hopefully we'll be getting maybe some stuff. Possibly Star Wars with the new Star Wars movie coming out, you never know. We don't know anything that goes on with Geek Fuel, I don't know any themes or anything like that. So let's just kind of look at it and see what we got here. So we have our book up first, which of course we always look at last. And it looks like we have Gizmo there. So we have Gremlins on that, so we could have possibly some Gremlin stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with our shirt first. I usually like Geek Fuel shirts, so let's start with this. And so we have that there. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, at least I think it's supposed to be like Mario, uh, maybe. And maybe the dragon. So, of course, it's like a samurai type thing with a dragon. And then uh, the Mario or samurai character down here. It's got some of the, like, flower plants, which looks like maybe where Mario hits the flower plant and turns into where he can shoot the fireballs and stuff is maybe what's going on here. And the only way I can tell is, yeah, because he has a uh, shell for, like, a shoulder pad. He has a big M on his head. He has the mustache and everything. So I'm pretty sure this is Mario and everything. And then, like I said, the dragon here is probably Bowser because of the colors of the green, white, and yellow and stuff. And then you can see, like, a what's supposed to be, like, a Japanese building. I don't know what you call those type thing. But it's got the little flag and stuff. Like, in the Mario games, you hit the thing, you hit the flag or whatever and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I really like that design. It's a cool, like, mixture of the samurai with Mario and stuff, so that's really cool. And it's just a very simple basic design, just that and then an all gray shirt, which this color is like my favorite color ever for a shirt, so that's awesome. So that's a cool shirt I'm excited for. Uh, next up we have, ooh, this is kind of cool. It's a Kid Robot South Park figure, and it's a Geek Fuel exclusive, which is kind of cool, but it is awesome -o which it's hard to see with the light, which will take it out. But it is like a Cartman robot figure. I think this is from a game or something. From, from an episode. Oh, I thought it was from their new game that came out. But on the back, it's got a sign that says, Two Butters Scotch sent from Japan. And then it's Konnichiwa <laughs> written on it stuff. So go ahead and open this. And so this is a glittered version. So I don't know if this is what makes it exclusive or if we got a special variant or something like that. I don't know. But it's all glittery. So hopefully it's not real glitter and we'll get all over the place. Oops. Um, so here we have the robot. Here, Okay, so it's not real glitter all over. It's just designed. So there's the robot. So it looks obviously like uh, two, like, I don't know what you call it. It looks like boxes to me stacked on top of each other. But it kind of looks like Cartman in my opinion. I don't know anything about this. I don't watch South Park too much. But That's... it says Awesome O there on the front. And then it's got a bunch of like robot parts. Little robot hands, antennas and stuff. It does have a little thing of toothpaste here. A little thing of toothpaste that I assume you can probably stick in one of its hands. Which the hands do move around a little bit. They can like spin and stuff. But it's kind of cool. Whatever the figure is, I really like the design and stuff on it. Just and it so you cool. know that is Cartman. He did make a robot suit out of cardboard boxes. So he's in it. Yeah. I somewhat assume that's what was going on, that he was inside of the robot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of fun. The head spins and everything. So it's just kind of a cool, fun little figure. Again, by Kid Robot and stuff. And that will go with something in the box here um, at the very end. Uh, the next up, we have a Star Wars thing. I don't know exactly what it is. It's a Rebel Alliance emblem key ring. So it's just a um, logo on a plastic thing that you can like put on your keys and stuff. So we got the Rebel logo there. And like I said, it's just like a coin type thing on a plastic tab. I think those things are stupid, but I like the whole logo thing and stuff. It'd be cool to get something a little bit bigger Star Wars really than that, but that's what we got. Uh, next up, we'll go with our pin, and it says Lord of the Pins, the Fellowship Edition, which is awesome because I love Lord of the Rings. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting there. And then on the back, it's got the Elven Scroll there that's around the ring. So we got that. So here we're opening it, and then we've got Lord of the P uh, Pins, Fellowship Edition there with the ring. And it says GF Tolkien, so Geek Fuel Tokens or whatever. Again, Epic Enamel Pins on the ring there, and then the tree on the back there and so let's see what we got oh we got Gandalf that's awesome and so there's what it looks like on the inside so of course we have all the characters we could have gotten so we have Frodo, Frodo or Robo bag pins Grandarod or Gandriod the gray I don't know what that says laser loss Gimbot Cyborg for one of the org guys and Protocol um for Smeagol I guess or Gollum there, so of course Gollum's the rare one, and we got whatever Gandalf is, I don't know how to say its name there. 
And so that's pretty cool. Gandalf's one of my favorite characters from Lord of the Rings, so that's awesome that we got that. Again, they're being really creative with not only just the pins, but the boxes and stuff. They all come in, so that's pretty cool. Then next up, we have our game, our Steam game, and it is for Poncho. There, so I don't know anything about it. But it says, a robot, a poncho, and a journey of discovery. Make your way through this wonderful world of pixelated parallax, parallax platforming to solve the ultimate puzzle. Who is Poncho? So there's the game there. And so that looks like that is everything for the box. We got our car now of all the items. So first up we have the boss battle there at the top, which of course is our Samurai Mario shirt mashup. It says yes, I'm about uh, Angry Bees from Far Away, Mushroom Kingdom. So yeah, it is Mario for sure. Then we've got, um, so on the back here we have our Lord of the Pins, which of course we got Gandalf. And it looks like, um, it shows there's a... A ring or something but it says one of one so apparently there was like an exclusive like super exclusive one it's just the ring it says epic enamels on it and then of course the gong the more rare one uh, then we got the Star Wars leather keychain thing and you could either got the Empire or the rebel or Re rebels sorry that you could have got um, then we got our poncho game code our kid robot Cartman robot awesome O there and then it can go with inside of the box which is kind of cool so that their box usually never do anything but you can kind of do a little display so it looks like the south park you know set here as i drop it and you have a tree that you can stick out and stick in like there's little holes you punch out there and then it's got the geek fuel sign that says south park so you can set that up and then stick the robot inside of there like that and make a little south park thing so that's kind of fun and cool and then so that is all the items from the box now. So let's go ahead and look at our magazine real quick. Um, but Bert, what's your favorite item out of the box? I'm going to go with the Osmo. So the Osmo robot there. Um, mine's probably going to be the shirt. Just because, like I said, I like the color of the shirt. I like the design with the Samurai Mario stuff and everything. So that's definitely going to be my favorite. So now we will look in our magazine, and so as I said, we have Gizmo there on the front, and it's kind of cool because the white part on the hat is all like fl furry, so it's like flocked or whatever, like the felt design or velvet, whatever they call that stuff. So let's look in here, so we have a little advertisement, weird like fake advertisement for Gremlins with Gizmo and stuff there. Some stuff, ooh, some Christmas movies, so there's a bunch of different Christmas movies. All of those are really fun movies, and I like all of those. Then we got stuff on The Last Jedi. Which was a pretty decent movie. We did a review on that, so you can check out our review on the channel. Oh, this is cool. So we have our Ultimate Geek Guide. Of course, this is a lot of Christmas-related stuff. But the thing here, which I used to have when I was a kid, the Turbo Man doll. So, of course, from Jingle All the Way, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. And I used to have this doll and played with it all the time, but got rid of it. But now you can see you can buy it for $800 from somewhere. I don't know exactly where. The, uh, the Ralphie's BB gun. The leg lamp, an elf costume, all sorts of fun, cool items going on here. The Krampus bell. And that looks like that's it. They usually put pictures of like people and stuff because we've been in the thing a lot, but we're, there's no pictures or stuff today. But that's going to be it for the Geek Fuel unboxing for this month. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more. And we'll see you next time. Yeah.